Hi guys and welcome back. I got a big announcement to make about the channel. Don't worry, it's still gonna be here. Nothing's gonna change that much, but a little bit's gonna change. I was contacted by a gentleman named Rick Ward. He's another air gunner. You probably have heard of him. He also goes by the name Urban Air Gunner. Rick Ward, the Urban Air Gunner, and he does a lot of promotional work for Air Force Air Guns? I think that's what, yeah, Air Force. Yeah, Air Force Air Guns. Not to get into a super long story, but he had some opportunities where he needed to trademark the name Urban Air Gunner, and he has done that. He went ahead and he trademarked the name Urban Air Gunner. Fortunate for him, he can use it. Unfortunate for me, I can no longer use that name. We actually have been talking on the phone a bit, and as much as I want to hate the guy for taking the name away, you know, after talking to him, you can't hate the guy. He's, he's, a, he's an all right guy. So with that being said, this channel is evolving. The name is changing. Let me show you what it is. So welcome to Air Gun Evolution, guys. Hope you enjoy it. So first things first, behind this wall right here, the new Air Gun Evolution wall, there's a nice little roost where pigeons like to sit and nest. A nice little honey hole. You gotta get at them, right? Let's see here. And don't make fun of me for all the safety stuff. I actually had to go to the eye surgeon to get a piece of metal removed from my eye about a month ago. I was making a, the scope cam out for the Taipan veteran and a piece of metal fl uh, flung in my eyeball. And luckily we have a optical surgeon here. I had to go through. I realized it was a really serious matter when I got in there and they took me ahead of everybody else. Thankfully they got the metal out of my eye and 100% now, but. Here we go. Always buy lifetime tools. might be a little harder than I thought it was. Nine days later, but I got my hole in the wall. <laughs> 